Are you, are you looking for a response after last weekend? How do you approach it? Of course we are. We're looking for a damn sight better performance. Um, for players to get back to what we're doing this. And I picked the wrong team. I picked the wrong formation. Um, against against a team that haven't been playing the way they did. They've been playing 4-4-2. I, I, I matched them up. Um, and we we got sucked into playing the ball long. We didn't do everything that we we, we tried to be about. We, we, we went totally foreign to what we want to be and um, gave some stupid defensive goals away and uh, got well and truly beaten on the day. Um, the players know that even with me getting the team wrong that performances weren't good enough so they know they know what's what this week's been about and they'll know what Saturday's about and, and we're looking forward to going there and showing what we what we can do. As as that decision about the formation come about from analysis, or did you know that after the final whistle? I, think I know that after three minutes when they scored their first goal, I just we I knew it. We, we, we just the way, the way we played, we we just humped the ball forward with no no care, no no quality. We gave our we just we didn't play very well. We 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 were hopeless. You know, I picked the team, um, but that said, the players. Should go out there and play, and we didn't. We didn't take enough responsibility as a as a group on on Saturday, and we got beat. So, you know, this week's been about about that responsibility, about finding it, about taking care, about playing how we want to play, and hopefully we can we can get back to it on Saturday. Is that as much a mental thing to put right as a, as a physical thing? Um, just a bit of both. We we, we know it weren't good enough. We we've got to we've got to go and uh, make sure it is on Saturday. So, what do you do differently in, in training in terms of what shape work or anything like that? Or do you yeah, just a little bit. Focus? A little bit. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll just concentrate on one or two things. We're away from home, so it's easier to be a little bit more. Um, whether defensive is the right word, or, you know, defensive, defence-minded, if you like. So we'll go there and uh, be. We're going to be better in everything we do. Put it that way. Is there a temptation to make changes to the personnel as well as to the shape? Um, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, of course. Um, but we, you know, we weren't making knee-jerk reactions. I've got a squad of players I'm happy with. Um, whatever a team I pick will be for, hopefully for the right reasons. You know, one or two um, might come in. One, um, you know, I'm, I'm fairly loyal with people, um, so I won't make knee-jerk reactions. But I, we might freshen it up in one or two areas. We'll see. That loyalty you talk about there, I mean, so many times last season, if there was a bad game, there wasn't a second bad game in a row. And I suppose that's the kind of the, the response you're looking that's, for now. That's what I'm after, of course. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We, you know, we, we were about trusting last year. We trusted each other um, on and off the pitch. We trusted each other's um, performances and, and ability to work hard for each other. And, I, you know, I totally trusted the players and I do this group. And um, like I said, I won't be making... Um, I won't drop people just for the sake of it. I, if I if I leave one or two out, it's it's for one or two chomping at the bit to to show me what they are about as well. You know, we um, sometimes you need to change it. Sometimes you need to to give them another chance. I'll I'll do what I see what I see fit. And with the strength in your squad, you must have people ch really chomping at the bit. Yeah, um, we had a reserve game here on Tuesday. It was very beneficial. I think everybody contributed to a decent performance and. Um, one or two, you know, certainly, certainly come into the reckoning from for Saturday. Darren Carr to be one of those because obviously he's, yeah, he's settling good, in. He's a good player. I wanted to get a reserve game into him before he played. A, before he started a game, I wanted him to get 75 minutes in at least, and uh, you know he did that. So you know he obviously comes into contention because he's a good player. Wickham starts probably not where they'd want to be. What have you made of it? I've just had a quick look. You know, it's about us. You know, it's about us. Um, going there and being as good as we can be this week, you know, we, we can't focus on other teams. The players will know what what Wicker are about. You know, we'll we'll pre press that home a little bit more today and tomorrow. They're a game behind um, everybody, you know, having that game abandoned. So, you know, it's too early to tell. They're, they've got some good players, a good manager, um, and we we've got a test, tough test on our hands. We know that. Injuries? How's your squad? Uh, duh, 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 where are we? Alan Bennett tweaked 
he's calf in training on Monday, so won't be available apart from that. Everybody's fit and available. With Benno unavailable, would you look to bring someone in on loan possibly because the loan window opens again soon? No. Thank you, good luck. Mark, a few people have, including Steve Elliott have sort of come out and backed Harry because obviously he played well up until Saturday. Have you, have you, uh, you know, got full faith in him despite having a bad afternoon against Accrington? It, yeah, of course I have. You know, that's why he's played the first five games of the season. Um, he made a couple of mistakes, but you know everybody makes mistakes. So he's a young lad. He'll, he's got to learn from it. He's got to learn from it quickly because it's a, it's a, a ruthless business, and you know strikers will pounce on any, on any mistakes you make. Um, and he's got to get his head down and just go again. Yeah, I know you're reluctant to give too much of the team away often, but sometimes you'll tell us that a player is playing. And is Darren Carter? You know, is, now said he's got that game under his belt. Are you, are you, you're very tempted. To he's going to be. He's going to be in and around. He's certainly going to be in. in you know, under massive consideration, definitely. Um, you know, he, I said to him all along. I wanted him to play. I, I didn't want to throw him in. The team were doing okay. I didn't want to throw him in and a, a risk. You know, I wanted to see that he play. He could play 75 minutes and go strong. I saw that on, on Tuesday. So, reading to that, what you like, he's he's definitely under consideration. Um, after not only playing for 75 minutes, but playing very well for 75 minutes. Yes. Did it also help? I mean, obviously his quality, but left-footed as well. He, he obviously, will, he could give us a bit of balance if we were needed to. But he, you know, whoever I play in there will will be a damn sight better than we were on uh, last Saturday. Yeah. What, what do you reckon is, would be his best role in the in your preferred formation? Or is he, can you play anywhere? Really? I think he can do everything. I think I think that his game for the majority of his career has been breaking into the opposition's box and scoring goals. I think. I think with age, I think he's learned that, that that more defensive role as well. I think he's learned to slow down and and, and get on the ball. He, 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 I think we all saw Tuesday that he's so assured on the ball, he's he's comfortable on it. He, he can put a tackle in. He, he can do a bit of everything, and that's what that's what you know we'll, we want from everybody. We want all the midfield players to to be able to to rotate, to be able to get up and down, to be mobile, to. To, to work hard to win the ball back but also to, to get on the ball and make us pass so if he comes in however we use him we'll try and use him to the best of his ability yeah and uh, Sam Deering hat trick in the reserves do you think there's a lot more to come from him so far yeah definitely so far? I, I, I was pleased with Sam um, a great response from from being not playing the last couple of games he can, he can consider himself a little bit unlucky um, but he hasn't sulked he's, he's worked hard and uh, I've got I've got you know, as much as you know, we got beaten. You're desperate to make changes. I've got, I've got decisions to make because I've got, like I say, I've got good players. You don't, I don't lose faith. I've not lost faith with anybody. Um, but sometimes it's the right thing to, to leave one out, bring one in. And you know, like I say, my decisions will be based on who I think can go and do a, the best job on Saturday for us. Yeah, Mo had a run out. I well, played an hour last week and run out for the reserve. So do you think he's fully fit now? Yeah, I, I, again, Mo. You know, Mo's missed the a little bit of time um, just felt it was important that he gets on the big pitch on a big pitch and, and and plays he could easily have trained you know with the with the ones who, who trained with me in the morning but it was important that he he just got more game related time and, and I thought he did all right as well yeah he's, he's so useful away from as useful in any game but away from home he's, he's probably yeah. even more useful than you the, on the break he's he does a job for a really good job for us and he's a good player and the more we have ready for it and, and playing well on a Saturday, then the better we'll be. Yeah, Alan Bennett hasn't had, he, he hasn't had much luck this season because he was fit for pretty much the whole of the last season. No, you had to wrap him up at times, but he's yeah. I think he's had a, two or three injuries already this year, hasn't he? So yeah, I mean, you know, I've had a chat with Benno. It's you know, he assures me it's nothing he's he's doing differently. Um, he'll be back soon. Yeah, cheers, Mark.